starting hello everyone my name is nancy rastogi i am a senior research associate at verispire noida i am a registered patent agent as well so today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic ipr landscape so what is ipr landscape what are the benefits of accompanying a landscape we will discuss all in today's session so let's start the session so what is an ipr landscape ip landscaping identifies the intellectual property position of an industry or a specific area of technology in a given country or in a group of countries so if you understand this uh, in this way like in general english landscape generally represents the visible features of an area of the land similarly in ip landscaping it is a process to create an overview of ip means uh, like ip landscaping is a process how ip is standing what is the position of ip in the industry what are the specific areas for a specific intellectual property uh, technology so all these these things can be defined under ipr landscape so the ipr landscape is a thorough overview of the current patent practices in any technological space so if you want to understand what are the current trends what are the current practices it is uh, simply suggested to go for an ipr landscape let's understand this with an example so if you want to go from one place to another place what we usually do we used to um, take help uh, of google maps so suppose if you want to go from point a to point b we generally put one destination and one source and google map shows us the uh, best path to get you where we want to uh, to get us uh, where we want to go so with the google map we need not to worry about each and every detail of the path it shows the snapshot of the route with easy to understand visualizations of data simply what we get we get uh, two three routes and we can choose what is the optimized route for us with the google map so in similar way patent landscape provides a snapshot of the patent situation or ipr situation in a specific technology with the patent landscape as well we need not to worry about the metadata metadata means uh, what are all uh, the backside data like uh, patent information application dates filing dates then who is the applicant who is the inventor what we get we get the easy visualizations we get the easy trends because the data is analyzed and visually presented in uh, a ipr landscape report so basically a patent or ipr landscape reports reveals what are the technological trends what are the industrial trends what are the scientific trends and what are the technological areas or trends uh, a patent or a um, set of patents are covering so if we if we try to understand a landscape is basically a very effective uh, tool for creating a visualization uh, like in terms of potential for legal validity and uh, to make informed strategy strategy in any industry or uh, let's say in educational sector if you want to explore what are all patents are there in an educational sector or what who are the top filers who are the top players uh, in those areas so you can simply get all those information all those visualizations through a patent or ipr landscape report so if we try to understand what is the technological trend in a, a landscape report we can simply uh, think like uh, um, what industries are filing for in what business market areas they are uh, covering more ip so such kind of information is revealed by a patent landscape report similarly what are the scientific trends like in what field a company is researching uh, it might be uh, possible like some companies are not in uh, those businesses but they are researching for future perspectives for some field so uh, this type of scientific trends we can uh, get from uh, the patent landscape data similarly what are the technological trends like if suppose nike has filed some patent for 3d printing 
so uh, we can assert that maybe they are planning to manufacture their products using 3d technology in future so this type of assertions this type of trend analysis can be done through a patent landscape report through a ipr landscape report so patent as we know patent is a part of ipr it is a kind of intellectual property right so such type of analysis can be done for any right apart from patent we can also conduct landscape report we can also prepare landscape report for design applications for trademark application for a copyright applications so all such reports will give us an idea easy visualization of the data and metadata uh, for what the uh, companies and educational sectors is specifically looking for so uh, basically this is about the ipr landscape and the patent landscape so let's see what the report comprises what are the essential features of a patent landscape report what it should comprise uh, in a, a good report let's say what uh, should be the covering of a good report so uh, let's understand this uh, in this way first of all uh, when we prepare a research paper we need to specify the objective and the scope of the research paper in similar way in a patent landscape report as well we need to specify what is the object and the scope of the report for what we are conducting the landscapes further report should comprise search methodologies what methodologies we are following for conducting a search like what is our strategy for conducting a search in a specific area Further, it should comprise non-technical and technical analysis. There are many, uh, inf there are um, uh, very much information that lies with the non-technical sector, like in market reports, in commercial data. So such type of data analysis we uh, a report need to have, and then the technical analysis that is related to the patents or the design application. That kind of analysis a report should comprise. Further, the technological segmentation based on the non-technical and technical analysis, we need to have some technological segmentation. For example, if there is a if we, we are conducting a landscape report for educational sector, let's say for a writing board. So for what are the technological segment for the writing board? Maybe a writing board is having a digital uh, screen on that we can write through a joystick or uh, something. It could have a, a conventional screen, but it can be uh, dusted uh, very easily. A duster, uh, there is no need of a duster. So such type of technological segments we need to do, whether it's a digital, whether it is conventional, whether it is a white board, whether it is a black board, what are the technologies incorporated in that? What are the improvements someone uh, has made over those technological segments? So such kind of data it should have, such kind of categorization it should have. Further, the current and emerging trend analysis means what is currently being preferred and what are the emerging trends what people is expecting in uh, let's say in five years or in 10 years so such kind of analysis should be there key technological trends it should do it should be generated from the above fields itself like what are the technological trends in what technology patents are filed more in what technologies design applications are filed more so such type of technological trends it should have for the patent portfolio analysis it should have suppose there is a university and they are having let's say thousand patents so what are the quality of those patents how uh, like whether these patents are generating money or not whether they are uh, working or not such type of analysis is uh, done in patent portfolio analysis further the what is the strength what are the weaknesses of the portfolio like uh, like how many forward citations are there how many backward citations are there so such type of analysis can also be um, uh, should also be there in the report further there should be some executive summary like conclusion should be there what are the assessments what are the uh, insights of the report such kind of summary should be there in the report so these are all uh, essential features of a report so basically 
लैंडस्केप इज अ वेरी कलेक्टिव टर्म आई वी टॉक अबाउट आई पी आर लैंडस्केप इट शुड इट कैन कंप्राइज पेटेंट लैंडस्केप ट्रेडमार्क लैंडस्केप डिजाइन एंड कॉपी राइट एंड अदर आई पी राइट सो इफ समन इज कंडक्टिंग आई पी आर लैंडस्केप फॉर द फॉर अ एजुकेशनल सेक्टर लेट से तो इट शुड कंप्राइज ऑल दीज फील्ड ऑल दीज आई पी राइट इफ समन इज क्रिएटिंग ओनली पेटेंट लैंडस्केप रिपोर्ट देन इट विल कंप्राइज ओनली पेटेंट डेटा और मे बी द डिजाइन पेटेंट एज वेल सो दिस इज बेस्ड ऑन लाइक हाउ वी आर डिफाइनिंग द स्कोप ऑफ आर रिपोर्ट वट ऑल वी नीड टू कवर इन द रिपोर्ट सो सच टाइप ऑफ कंटेंट शुड बी देयर इन द रिपोर्ट दिस इज द एसेंशियल कंटेंट फॉर द रिपोर्ट moving onwards so uh, there are some phases of preparing the landscape report i will define each term uh, later on in this uh, in the further slides but let's understand how a patent uh, landscape report is actually created so first of all once the scope is defined we need to uh, prepare keywords or term set So we need to prepare. Uh, for example, if we are searching for a writing board, let's see. So I will define the term set first. I will include the writing board. Then I will include other type of boards like a, uh, it could be slate, it could be a digital pad. So such type of terms, such type of keywords, I need to incorporate. Then I need to make one search strategy. Like in what databases I will search. what all fields i will cover what all classes i will cover so such type of search strategies uh, need to be made then patent screening when we obtain a patent set with the keywords and with the search strategy then we need to uh, screen the patents like these are the related patents these are the relevant patents so once uh, we will obtain a basically patent set uh, with keywords and the search strategy in second phase we will do technological segment what all fields we need to search on for what fields we need to conduct or uh, make a report on for example in case of writing board let's suppose i am considering on only digital boards for such cases so what i will do i will uh, i will set my technological segment for digital boards only and th then i will conduct further search i will classify my patent like this is having the digital board this is somehow talking about the digital board but not claiming the digital board and uh, this is not relevant this is not talking about the digital board but somehow uh, it is talking about the digital teaching thing so this type of categorization this type of patent classification i need to make uh, in the second phase of uh, landscape report further in third phase what i need to do i need to uh, prepare one patent landscape like comprising all data uh, that i have uh, concluded from my patent set then i will prepare the insights like what are the key segments what are the key players so such kind of insight i need to prepare then patent ranking and analysis like what are the what are the um, top patents what are the most useful patents for that sector and their analysis uh, this is like three phases uh, we usually uh, prepare a landscape report uh, in these three uh, phases so uh, this is about the landscape report so what are the uh, insights we can drive from the landscape report like first we will uh, get the patent filing and publication trend time wise like in which year most number of patents are filed in which year less filing is there so such type kind of trend we used to get from patent landscape report for the filing trend technology wise like uh, means in which technology more filing is there in which technology less filing is there so such kind of uh, filing trend we used to get from the um, patent landscape report top assignees or key players within the technology we have segmented the technological area we have fixed the technological area to the digital screens digital writing boards only so what are the top filers what are the uh, top players in that field we need to um, further justify that then technological wise trend 